Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Jess. Welcome and for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can see, we are working with a pick a card reading. We have three piles to choose from. The first pile is the carnelian. Second pile is the tiger cowrie shell. And the third pile is the rose quartz crystal. I am so excited to dive into each of the messages that Spirit has welcoming, welcoming us into the year 2024. So go ahead, get some tea, get cozy, and let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, honeys, so we are ready to dive right in. The decks that I am working with are all going to be linked down below and I've also figured out how to record so you can see while I'm shuffling so you can see what I see. So go ahead and take a moment to relax, to ease in. And let's go ahead and start cutting the deck and seeing what spirit has, overarching themes and messages that you need to hear for the start of 2024. Right away, first things first, what's standing out to me is I'm getting not like it's almost like a pending sign like I'm kind of watching something kind of circulate because I feel like it's um, I, it's giving the energy of something loading something loading so I feel like something is entering into your life let's go ahead and see exactly what that might be wow chariot card right away this has a lot to do with movement activity forward momentum I am definitely seeing um, intention. I want to see the next card. Wow. This has a lot to do with your intuition. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups reversed, as well as the Hierophant. I'm going to allow these cards to sit and to settle in because I feel like they have a message all by themselves, right? It's just, it definitely feels like a vibe. First things first, I feel like for some of you, you want to start off, and at the base of the reading, we have the Hermit card reversed. For many of you, I'm feeling a connection to your intuition. You're starting the year 2024 on a fresh note in the realms of making sure that energies in your life are balanced and that they're reciprocated. With the Six of Pentacles showing up, it's kind of showing me that through your own experiences, the highs and the lows of last year or the years before that, you might have given a lot of yourself to places that I don't want to say didn't deserve it, but didn't pour into you in the way that you kind of deserved, right? That were rightfully good for you. Now, you've taken a lot of time from what I can see, you've taken a lot of time to reflect on what is appropriate for your energy now. I want to tell you too that it, it's not coming from a place of lack of love or desire for wanting to give to others. I also don't I also don't think that anybody who abused your energy did it at intentionally it almost feels an accident I with that I'm getting this message of you learning how to speak up for yourself and to ask for your needs or to prioritize what you give to others as well as what is it that you're giving to yourself you might have been someone who had a lot of things that spirit or your life was asking of you goals that it is that you needed to accomplish things that were a priority for you that may have been adjusted so that you could meet the needs of others. And in this year, 2024, Spirit is acknowledging the fact that we're not going to move in that same way or you're learning amplified how to stop um, putting others' needs before yourself. I'm getting an image. It's really interesting with the chariot card. It's like someone who is in the car going somewhere, going to work. This job that is that they work so hard for, maybe it's an internship, maybe it's something that they... Or maybe it's the flip side, right? That they're not going to work. They're going on vacation. And then the call comes forward and they turn right around. The people, whoever's calling them, they're saying, I need you, I need you, I need you. I need you to come back into the office. Or or they're, I need you. We're going over here. We need you to come. 
this is the spirit is not allowing that in 2024 for you there's an understanding of your headspace when it comes to you trying to help others but at least for 2024 the energy is shifting where you're beginning to more reprioritize what is necessary and needed for you i want to tell you that spirit is using the word groundbreaking that's the word that is i'm hearing groundbreaking for you, this is going to kind of shift and break a lot of relationships or patterns within your life. People who have expected you to show up. I think that some, someone or something is going to show up and there's a warning here that I want you to kind of keep aware, keep an eye out for. They're going to, I don't want to say trap you, but they... they don't necessarily respect that boundary of you making sure that you're taking care of what you need to take care of for you. It's as if they are questioning or trying to dig in in order to see what you're doing or why you're prioritizing other things. They may try to find new ways to kind of, I don't say threaten you, but pull you back in at the risk of something that is comforting for yourself. And I just want to tell you that your angels and your guides would not put you in a situation where it's going to be detrimental for you. Everything in your life, and I, I'm almost hearing this as an affirmation, so maybe this is something that you can say to yourself, everything in your life is set up for you to be successful and for you to be happy and healthy. It's not going to come at this greater cost of you losing your peace, your security, your stability, your resources, your relationship. If you start to find those things falling away, it's because they can't come with you where it is that you're going. And that can be a really difficult message for some. I do want to shuffle with this um, hermit card here reversed. Some of you guys, yeah, you're really, yeah, there's this real strong need for partnership, connection, and union here with the lover's card here. This is going to be really tough for you, but 2024 is going to be the year of, regardless of how much you love or who you love or what you want when it comes to intimacy and connection and partnering with others, not even when it comes to real romantic relationships, but almost people pleasing, it's so important that you are employing or incorporating all the different sides of yourself when it comes to decision making. What does this mean? This means that you're factoring in your heart, your mind, so what you analyze, your energy, and what am I missing here? Um, your intellect. Yeah. Your mind, your energy, your emotions. Is that one of my friends? See, literally, guys, this is what I'm talking about. That engine sounds like it's one of them. I feel like I'm going to get a text message. That right there is actually a message because that person, I feel like, I think one of my my friends would do something like that. Like they would drive up outside and then they would honk the horn, wait to see if I come out. Meanwhile, and I almost got distracted. I almost five of pentacles reverse at the base of this at the base of this card is the card of someone something has to be left out. Um and kind of lacking a little bit there. That was a message right there. Some of you guys might need to employ the intellect and the sharpness and the astute boundary setting and intelligence and intellect of the king of swords so that you can hyper focus and prioritize and this can be really tough because it feels like how do i balance being present and emotional and showing up for my friends and my family in the way that is that i want to for them with and how do i do this with my work my career my goals myself there's going to be some um inner time that you take for yourself where you um, are processing or analyzing and finding a, a way, a plan that works for you. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, put these cards away and let's go ahead and look at the Oracle. Let's look at the Oracle. In the meantime, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for being patient while we ca caught up on orders for Bahati Life Apothecary. The shop is going to be reopening soon enough while I... In the meantime, I'm focusing on getting readings done because there is a handful of that as well. I want to tell you that I do see a blessing uh, when it comes to a uh, King of Cups type of energy kind of showing up in your life. This person has good intention, but it's kind of hard to tell them no, whoever this person is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a man or masculine energy. It's just the energy of someone that yeah, the devil card, right? The devil card is the first card to jump out. 
and it is reversed. So we're going to want to make sure that we're having, yeah, six of cups reversed, two of wands, three of swords upright, seven of pentacles. It's interesting because I did question if this king of cups character was upright or reversed. It was hard to tell when I was cutting the deck. I do want to say that if this is um, the devil card, if this is king of cups reversed, three of swords, king i'm sorry devil card seven of pentacles and six of cups reverse two of wands you got to be careful of anybody in the new year that it doesn't have balance within themselves you cannot expect them to make good balanced choices and decisions for you if they themselves are not able to incorporate that to employ them so this is where those boundaries are very very healthy for you to set you would have seen this by now Okay, this is something too. Spirit is showing Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords showing up in your life. This is this, the energy of endings. Kind of cutting out anything that is toxic. Separating yourself from them. Also making sure that you are not taking on too much emotional baggage of other people around you, regardless of how much you love them. I want to tell you that 2024 is a beautiful year for you, but the main challenge is something is great coming in. Something really is great coming in, and Spirit is prepared to give you this blessing. You might have already sensed it. Uh, High Priestess keeps showing up. You might have already sensed it. It might even be a, a manifest something that you manifested with the Chariot card. This is really tough for you to say goodbye to that thing. This is really tough for you, not to say goodbye, but for you to have boundaries with, with, with the, the distraction. Yeah, three of cups, two, three of cups, two of cups. Make sure that friendships and stuff like that, make sure that these people, even no matter how long they've been in your life, make sure that they want you to be happy. I know that sounds wild. But sometimes you can sense when the energy is off when you start getting blessed, especially when you've been around people your entire life. And maybe situations in your life have look, looked a certain way, but it's your season, it's your time for you to receive blessings or for you to manifest. Does the energy shift when those blessings start to come into your life? That's a real thing. And some of you guys might have learned through that. So it does feel like I can't, as a Virgo, right? As a Virgo, I sometimes I kind of focus on problems or I focus on what's wrong because I, I want to fix it. So I feel myself kind of doing that now where I don't want to overlook. I don't want to focus so much on an issue here that I'm overlooking the blessing. I want to tell you for complete transparency and clarity that I feel like there is a beautiful blessing here in the mix for you. And this is why your angels and your guides and your spirit, your spirit guides, your spiritual team are making sure that in 2024, you're not blocking your blessing by distractions, by people who might... Um, Maybe not. They say that they may want the best for you, but when the best starts coming in, they may feel some type of way about it. I don't know how to describe that in another way, but that's kind of what it is that it's giving. They really want you to stay focused on your abundance and your blessing without compromising that and wave and having that energy waver. And you know what that looks like because there's certain rituals and routines that you set into place. Any type of anxiety or intention that you feel. Try to work on releasing it. Yoga is something that really helps me when I start getting anxious, even with good things start happening in my life. Um, and also, I want to tell you that when you're, when this blessing, when this gift, whether it be a relationship, abundance, security, happiness, joy, peace, quiet, when those things start coming into your life, don't feel guilt or shame because um, you're entering into a new season in your life, a new chapter, okay? Now, let me go ahead and look at the oracle for you. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. So the first cards to jump up are actually tarot cards, but I'm going to read them as if they are. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to read them as if they're oracle. So we have the moon card, we have seven of cups, and we have the four of wands. So right away, the blessing I feel that's coming into your life has a lot to do with security, support, options. I, some of you guys, again, your intuition is going to be chef's kiss, spot on. Some of you guys are going to be getting a lot of revelations this year when it comes to purpose and path or what is next in your life, not just in your career, but who, where your life is headed in all different areas. With the moon card here, it's troublesome to me just a little bit because again, it's kind of hard to 
see people's uh, intentions when you're assuming what their intentions are. This is why I feel this constant need to talk to you about listening to your intuition and trusting the, uh, the vibes, the energy of the room. Don't assume that because this person is, is your partner or your friends or your family or your boss or whoever, don't assume that if they say that they want the best for you, that, that they actually mean it or when it starts to happen, that it's going to be all hunky-dory all the time. The energy can really shift when the blessing starts to come in. And that's sometimes a hard truth that we learn in life, unfortunately. I don't wish that for you, but it can happen. So with the moon card, really pay attention that if the energy starts to feel off or there's friction, there's some type of truth that's happening there with that. Okay, four of wands, I do want to say, is the card of marriage, settling down, settling in. Of course, that can show up when it comes to engagement and your relationship ascending to the next level, absolutely. But across the board, what it is that I'm seeing is I'm feeling like you're really starting to explore all the different options and all the things that, all the different things like your life can look like and feel like, or you're starting to see how your energy shifts when certain things kind of enter into your life and there's a certain feeling that is that you want to constantly feel, whether that be peace, happiness, creative, joy, exercise, energized, exercised, energized. So there's something here that you're kind of starting to pick up on. When I do this, it makes me feel this way. And it's interesting because as I'm saying that, I feel like that's what your angels and your guides are kind of asking for you to focus on. When you do this, how do you feel? We want you to focus in on that instead of incorporating all these other things that might not necessarily make you feel that joy, that blessing, that abundance that is that we have for you and that we want you to feel on the regular. So let's go ahead and look at the other cards that we have here. We have Life and Death, Crepe Myrtle. And then we have butter beans, counting, and time cycles. So, yeah, sometimes when something new comes into your life, it oftentimes means that something else is ending. Hopefully, this doesn't have to do with anything that will create any pain and suffering. Although, as human beings, it's a natural part of life for us to mourn or to celebrate simultaneously the changes that are happening in our lives. I want to tell you that with the Butter Beans card showing up here and counting in time cycles, 2024 is your year. It absolutely is. And this is one of the reasons why your angels and your guides are really asking for you to focus in on those blessings and focus in on your feeling because your feeling is going to give you a lot of clarity and a lot of direction into what's going on energetically and also blessings and into and things that you're intuitively sensing coming forward in your life. I also want to tell you guys that it's very important for 2024 for you to make additional space for you to feel your feelings and to mourn or to celebrate as necessary as needed. Sometimes when we're goal oriented, when we're focused, we don't really give ourselves enough time and space to feel the vast the vastness of all the emotions that come in and all their different all the different ways. Um, so make sure that you are giving yourself, you know, ample room to explore all of the feelings. And for with this I almost am getting the sense that you may be mourning some things, right? Like maybe there's a huge blessing that's entering into your life, like a relationship while you're saying goodbye to a friendship that was forever, you know? So there's, it's like you're excited, you're happy, but at the same time, you know, you have that complex feeling of like loss when this thing kind of like etches away. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's look at the next card. Wow, reconciliation is the card for love here. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. I do want to tell you, be really careful and cautious because with the King of Cups reversed, showing up here, Seven of Cups, a bright moon card, and the Four of Wands, it's almost like someone who may have, someone that you might have said goodbye to in the past may try to re-enter into your life. And I don't know if this is a totally changed person. However, see how it goes if you feel called to, but listen to your intuition regardless. So it's true that something from the past could be re-entering into your life. Make sure that you're asking your angels and your guides to make sure that they're, they have positive intentions for you and that should they enter into your life, is this the appropriate time and season for them to enter into your life? 
that should be a very interesting question. Some of you guys are very open to this. You've been waiting for this. Again, this is that season for that. What was once dead may be coming back to life. That's something else, too, to keep in mind. I would listen to my intuition, I would ask, and I would also talk to my angels and my guides and ask for clarity with the reemergence of any, any type of energies, whether past or present. Let's look at the last card that we have for you. We have Tiger Eye, and I'm going to go ahead and read this for you. It's a beautiful card, very, very beautiful. Wow, see, I told you you are manifesting. So the first message here, positive willpower, optimism, the power to manifest essence into form and clear purpose, emphasis on clear purpose. You have the moon card here and the seven of cups. So this seems like a lot of clarity is coming forward, even though these these cards kind of counteract it. Sometimes, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an astrologer, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, Sometimes in the realms of astrology, oftentimes in the realms of astrology, it's what opposes the opposite. Like the energy that it is that we're not is what teaches us how to be. And when we are found in a, a season of directionless or confusion or chaos or things feel topsy-turvy, upside down, emotional, foggy, filtered, that can make us see that enough that we start to fo we start to lean into focusing and, and craving and wanting clarity. This is probably the season for you of gaining clarity. So, everything including our planet began as an idea in a sea of infinite possibility before becoming manifest in the realm of form and the conditions you see today are the result of intentions created in the past. That might be something too that's coming forward for you with reconciliation is that something that you set intention for in the past is now showing up in the present. Know that in this moment, you have the power to begin co-creating something new with a conscious universe. You have what it takes to do what needs to be done. So with that clear intention in mind, take a deep breath, roll up your sleeves and begin the work for its manifesting time. Tiger Eye Spirit reminds you not to get distracted by the largeness of a task as you have the conscious universe working with you, sending allies and messages to make the job easier. Like the mountain goat ascending the peak one step at a time, which is a nod to Capricorn energy if that resonates with anyone, you can let go of your worries and look and just look for the next foothold as you begin the manifestation process. Prepare the soil for planting, crack a book that will educate you in this next phase, and get ready for some powerful manifestation energy to partner with you. So those are very beautiful readings and beautiful messages. And honestly, I love how they all connected. I hope this resonated with you. Please let me know down in the comments. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure that you turn on your notifications and feel free to meet me at Bahati Life Apothecary for fixed candles, herbs, and intention magic that I'm working around the clock continuously throughout the year and for many years. Until then, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Let's go ahead and move on to pile two. All right, my loves, if you chose pile two or the tiger cowrie shell, this is your reading. So like I said to pile number one or the carnelian crystal, I am so excited <laughs> to shuffle for you. Also, thank you to those who have been very patient with me while I was working through orders of the apothecary. I still have a few more left to go, and then some readings is going to be the focus of the first half of 2024 for me personally. But a big shout out to my most loyal cu customers and clients who have been with me since the beginning of time. Thank you guys for being repeated uh, consumers or, or purchasers of Bahati Life Magic for so long. I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied, especially now that Mercury is currently direct. I think because I've been talking about tarot and astrology all day today. So, all right, let's go ahead and look into the energy of 2024 for you. What is the energy? What is the vibe? The oracle cards and tarot cards that I'm working with will be linked down below. It's interesting because right away the energy has already shifted from being very active and like downloading to this energy feels very quiet and 
reflective. I also just heard the word counteractive, counteract, counteract. So it's like you're taking something and turning it around in order to heal, to fix it, to make it better, to make it feel better. I feel like someone is making, it's so interesting. I'm getting a vision of someone making a U-turn in their life. So interesting. Somewhere that you were originally going or the path that you thought that you were going, you're realizing, uh-uh, this isn't working out. Making a U-turn, you're turning around. It feels, it feels, I just heard like direction. So you are definitely being divinely inspired by your angels and your guides. It's not in vain, this redirection, this reroute. Um, it's spirit called it over your life. Your ancestors called it over your life. Some of you guys may have asked for clarity and discernment and then you heard it and you realized I went the wrong way. I made a wrong turn. It's, I'm getting confirmation too, that it's not, um, in vain. Wow. Three of wands is at the very bottom of your deck here. Three of wands is the card of something that is coming in. Um, you, I, I feel like for you, this is like a message. This has been very much hearing i'm also hearing give and take when it comes to you going to your altar you praying you speaking out loud you manifesting vision boarding something is coming like giving more clarity and things that you've already called out and asked for it that's what the three of wands is is giving right now it's possible that you might be turning around to meet someone so if someone might which is interesting because the first pile got reconciliation but this feels a little different Sorry, I'm kind of like feeling the energy while I'm talking to you guys. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Let's cut the deck. Yeah, Justice card. Interesting. Five of Cups. Five of Cups reverse is the card of kind of going back. Going back to something that you might have. You might be fixing something or someone might be trying to fix something. I really feel like double doubling these energies here i also don't know why but i'm seeing someone watching a lot of movies like long movies like lord of the rings well it's kind of like a series like a lot of series like very long blips of things it's a movie for me is anything like under two minutes i'm sorry two hours um a tv show is like 30 minutes this is like a lot of long segments of things so you might be spending a lot of time um in re relaxation and ease. Look at this. You have the chariot card reverse and nine of pentacles reverse. You're going back to get something. It's going to make your life a little, it's going to make your life easier is what it looks like. That's what 2024 is going to be about. Um, it could be a change of plans. It could be reroute. It could be new direction, new sense of purpose. We have king of wands upright and we have nine of wands reversed. This is the energy of not stressing out. This is the energy of having direction, hearing, hearing a call, answering, answering it. This could be the call from your angels and your guides. Look at this. We have King of Pentacles upright and Ace of Cups. So this is pouring into your business, pouring into your security, your stability, your wealth. We also have um, Knight of Cups and Page of Swords reverse. You might hear of some interesting offers when it comes to business. You might have a client that is really, I don't say lucrative, but feels very good to have for the business. Now, I have clients like that who not, not, I just don't, it's not about money. Money helps run the business, but oftentimes it's the energy of that person. When I see that they booked with me, when I see that they placed an order with me, when I'm working on another custom candle for them, I already know the energy. It's familiar and I've already have manifested for them and worked with them in the past. So when I see that I'm able, I like know their story. So when I'm able to work with them again, it feels very familiar. I, I'm saying that because that's the energy that it's giving here. It's There's something about the connection, the warmth, or the history, the comfortability, knowing this person and being able to work on it again. So that's right there. Uh, Six of Cups is showing up and the Death card. So do you remember how I said in the very beginning, it's kind of giving very similar to the reconciliation that is that I saw in pile number one, but I'm seeing it, Six of Cups. It feels different though. It feels different. It feels like you're returning. There's this, um, maybe not so much returning to something of the past, but it's almost like, it's almost like if you're going on a journey, if you're going on a road trip and you get like 50 miles and then you realize, wow, if I just turn and go 20 miles back, 
there's this miraculous place where I can find healing. And I didn't hear about it until I felt called to pray and ask for guidance. And then someone said it. And then I was like, okay, here we go. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a, a change of pace and I'm going to go back in this direction. So it's not like you, it doesn't for me, it doesn't feel like reconciliation. It feels like you got to go back in order to get something that you haven't had. Look at that. You have the Ten of Cups and the Strength card here. You have Five of Pentacles reversed and Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles upright and Queen of Pentacles reversed. High Priestess reversed and the Three of Pentacles, yeah. So something is coming back in and for some of you guys, this is a net, this is in addition. It feels like something being added onto your life whether, and it doesn't feel recycled. It feels totally brand new. Um, I just heard X marks the spot. So you might be looking for something or spirit has you on a quest to look for something. I don't mean to be so um, gray area with what it is that I'm saying. I usually like to be very specific, but do keep in mind that um, this is a reading. Many, many people watch these videos, a lot of different energies. So I got to keep it pretty open for now. It's interesting too that the justice card is here upright and the justice card represents well it represents fairness and getting what is that you deserve whether that be a blessing or a, a warning a threat right but it's it this person has the an arrow a bow and arrow and he's about to hit the mark on something and with the wheel of fortune this has a lot to do with um luck two of pentacles reversed is biding your time Or maintaining your time I just feel like spirit is trying to give you is trying to help you hit the mark with something um, this to me feels like just being totally honest with you it's feeling like someone about to enter into your life it feels like money security entering into your life it feels like going back to a way that adds more value to your life it feels like revisiting an old vision that is that you have for yourself, but doing it for the first time. So this could be something that you've been wanting to do so long and you finally have the opportunity to do it. That's what spirit is calling into your life right now. Some of you guys might have started to second guess the fact that could this actually happen? I've lived my life without it. It won't happen now. And you're about to be pleasantly surprised. Ten of Cups showing up here too is the card of happiness and joy. Some of you guys might be working on your fitness or rediscovering um, revelations when it comes to your health and overall well-being. Others of you, you're just really in a high point. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling impactful. You're feeling inspired. You're feeling active. You're feeling courageous, confident. These energies might be new for you, but it feels like you've done the work. You've done a lot of healing, so you're just you feel prepared. Some of you guys might have done a lot of inner and external work, so the confidence really is exuding and that's becoming your reality. I'm ready to go ahead and look into these oracle cards, but for some reason I wanna leave the cards out because I feel like we're gonna apply them or the pieces of the puzzle are gonna start fitting in. So first cards here we have for you is the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, and then we have the Tower card. It's kind of tough to see this, but it's interesting because the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles are here twice. Well, they are they're giving they're they're on they have the same agenda. They're working on the same things, and you also have Two of Pentacles here showing up reversed and upright. So I feel like this is you, I, I just get this strong sense of you feeling capable, empowered, and feeling like you can do this. And I say that because with the two of pentacles, it's always this feeling of like, okay, I have to juggle this until I get it done. But it's the mindset of there's an investment here, there's something in the work, so it's worth it for me to maintain this. You may actually be partnering up with something or someone or linking up with something. You might be finding something or something is meeting you halfway. I don't know. I think that you are going to sense it, but I don't know if you understand the magnitude of this blessing or the or the or the gift that this person brings into your life. For some of you guys, I want to tell you that 
you're making a U-turn because you've realized that there's certain things in your life or a person that just won't, you just are not going to tolerate it anymore. Um, and when you, you might be taking on a new responsibility or a new investment while also simultaneously getting like offloading some responsibility and some baggage at the same time. It's very, very interesting. I do want to tell you that in 2024, you're going to feel very looked after. You're going to feel very protected and provided for by the divine, especially when it comes to synchronicity. Something about feeling like things just happen to synchronistic, synchronistically align. Let me look at some more of your oracle cards here. Let's look at your love cards. You have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, that's also giving with the two of pentacles. Coming really close together and having a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to understand each other. Forgiving and learning. And then we have healing family issues. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So right away, I mean, I don't know if you guys are picking up the energy that I'm seeing here, but... It almost, 2024 feels like the season of empowerment for you. Now, when you're talking to other people, or if there's someone who wants to enter into your life, when they enter into your life, it's more, you're from a, you're coming from an empowered place. So you're not so much focused on trying to make it work as much as you're asking, how does this work out for me? So there's this real strong sense of empowerment. You're not, you're really letting go and creating a new way that works for you, even if that means that you might have to go the way alone or if you might have to do things different. But I just feel like as it, it doesn't feel like you're having to juggle things for too long, too hard, that it wears you down. Because again, I keep getting this message here about things showing up synchronistically, showing up right in the nick of time for you. This heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to help a lot when it comes to your own healing. And then from there, I don't know why, but I just heard that you're going to feel more adventurous. You might have felt a little closed off or blocked off because something might have happened to really hurt and harm your heart. But with the death card here and the six of cups, you're really starting to release that what you were holding on to and getting a real strong sense of courage and conviction and where it is that you feel that you know you're being led. The next card we have, yeah, we have monkey monkey ball here, weight and rigidity, and then we have paw paw, celebration and fruits of labors. Do you kind of see the similarities here? They have two, they both have two things that we're juggling here. So for some of you guys, you see that there is a blessing. There's something here that is worth it for you to hold, for you to kind of work out. Whether that be a plan, whether that be the path to move forward on your own terms, whether that be actually partnering and connecting with someone who is, I don't know why I'm hearing the word viable, is that weird? Someone who has what it takes. And you're giving up the idea of things working out with, with people or things where they don't have what it takes. I hope that makes sense. The next and final card for you is this Spirit Quartz card. I'm going to read this to you. Some of you guys have been in situations that have been very com completely unfair where you were at one point you might have been juggling things or doing things where the energy was off balance. Someone wasn't carrying their weight. You weren't holding up your end of the bargain or vice versa. And now that's ending. Now we're both capable. Now we both have what it takes. And now there's movement. And for some of you guys, you're not so caught in again making things work that it's more like you're asking like how does this work out for me and that feels it's empowering you like there's a spirit of empowerment that i'm getting as i'm looking at your cards okay so the cards here is spirit courts connecting to community wow universal love harmony and co cooperation that's literally what i'm getting with these two the spirit of two showing up for you two of pentacles two of pentacles these two and these two we heal in partnership, the strong lifting up the weak, taking turns, supporting each other. Wow. When this crystal spirit appears, the message is to reach out and connect to your community and discover the true power of your gifts through sharing them with others. So there's just like exchange that's happening here. Your willingness to put the highest good ahead of the wants of yourself, small self is called for now. 
Reciprocity does not mean keeping a ledger, but instead feeling the power of offering kind words and acknowledgements. You have the power to change the lives of others and awaken them to the abundance and love available from the conscious universe who works through us all. Today, even the smallest outreach will make a big difference. This crystal's message is to remember your co-creative powers and open up to receiving the gifts that you hope for. It may also be reminding you that it is a, a great gift to allow someone the power of giving to you without expectation or reciprocity, for in doing so, they experience their strength, abundance, and generosity. Listen to your intuition today as you give and receive, connecting to community and sharing and shared desire for healing and replenishment. So again, guys, it's like this 2024 for you is the season of replenishment, reward when it comes to reciprocity and working together as a team with no strings attached. And I feel like you might have learned that. When it comes to relationships that didn't necessarily show those traits in the past, it's very true that you might have um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them so that that is something that you are now experiencing. Because remember how I said there's like a U-turn here? This could represent energy going on in your life, absolutely, but it could represent relationships where it's not that you're going back to what things once were. You're turning around and repairing so that this is a new cycle of give and take from people that are in your life and also people who wish to enter it. I hope that this resonates. Please let me know down in the comments. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos like this. Pick a card readings, weekly um, astrology, astrology predictions, information sharing, intuitive messages and downloads, etc., etc. Uh, do turn on your notifications, and if you like to work with me, you can feel free to browse the apothecary, bahadilife.com, candles, herbs, all different types of oils and potions and things to help you to manifest your intentions. I've been doing this for a very long time, so it's a blessing and honor to share that magic with you. Until then, my loves, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hello, my loves. For those of you that chose the Rose Quartz Crystal, this is your reading. So like I said to the first two piles, it is an honor, it is a blessing to be able to shuffle and share magic and messages with you now. Thank you to all of my very loyal and wonderful clients and customers who have worked with me in the last few shop updates. It has been such a ride, but it is always a blessing and so wonderful to be able to work magic for you over fixed candles, oils, intentions. Thank you guys for being so patient. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into what are the messages for you for 2024? It's interesting, I got, as soon as I closed my eyes, I thought it was so funny. I got an image of an ice cream cone. And this is giving me the spirit of childlike play. Letting, I'm hearing um, someone needs to hear, it's time for you to let your hair down. It's time for you to learn how to relax. It's time for you to have more ease in your life, more joy. I do want to tell you, it's so interesting as with the Eight of Swords is definitely confirming this, that when it comes to your intentions or something that you have set intention for, you can relax in this intention. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We also have the Judgment card here reversed and the Devil card. It's this fear that it is that you have, yeah. It's this fear that is that you have that it has a hold on you, right? And as soon as you let go, right? As soon as you not let go of the dream of this thing happening, but as soon as you stop stressing about it and worrying about it, which is easier said than done. Don't shoot the messenger here, right? Easier said than done. As soon as you stop stressing about it, it ha it will come to fruition. It will it will come it will it, you'll start to see the seed of it. I want to tell you that there's a lot of divine timing that is happening here. And this thing, whatever this thing is, because it's very specific for this pile, whatever this thing is, it has to happen with perfect divine timing and not a second too soon and not a second too late. When it does happen, because it will happen, you're going to be so happy that it happened the way that it did. 
Um, I know that, again, that sounds so cliche, but someone really needs to hear this right now. Um, someone feels like it's, I don't, I don't want to say woe is me, is what, but that's what, that's literally the words that I just heard, woe is me. So spirit is watching you very, feeling very sad for yourself, feeling very bad for yourself, feeling very down. And it's not to tell you that you can't mourn or you can't feel bad, you can't feel sorry, but to also, more importantly, I think right now, feel hopeful or to give you a reason to feel hopeful for the future when it comes to this thing manifesting. Um, for someone here, I want to tell you that you have a lot, I'm feeling a lot of pent up emotion or unexpressed emotion, especially when it comes to sadness, frustration, feeling let down, feeling like sabotage, like life is doing one to you. I don't know if that makes sense, but like life isn't being fair or kind to you. This is something that spirit is working to actually turn around. And it's so important for many of you to making, sh making sure that you're speaking your heart and your truth to your angels and your guides and your ancestors and that you're asking them, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but for forgiveness. For some of you guys, it's not that you need forgiveness. It's that you may need help forgiving situations and how they turned out. You may harbor resentment, sadness, frustration, ache when it comes to the things that you didn't receive in your life or the struggle that it is that you have experienced or are currently experiencing. Your angels and your guides want to release you from this because it feels very self-imprisoned. I just want to tell you too that I love I love God so much. Like Whenever I sit with the divine goddess energy, like that's a whole other topic is my personal beliefs, but whenever I sit with the divine, I feel the amount of compassion and understanding that it has for us, every single one of us, to the point where there's nothing that we can't feel or express that wouldn't be welcomed and received. It's so human. It's so natural. And... In this space, there's a wonderful, you in this, in this space, you're going to find comfort. I don't know if this is something that you started working on now or expressing now, but spirit is saying that this is something that is limitless for you. This is something that is forever for you, that you don't have to turn this off, this connection, this, and, and what won't get turned off from you is compassion, this understanding, the softness. Um, so someone really needs to hear that. I also, okay, I'm also hearing that spirit is saying this compassion is coming to you directly when it comes to this very specific intention that is that you're setting setting for your life, that you still have time or there's time or it's on it's on the clock for this to happen in your life. And that your angels and your guides and the divine will not not allow this to happen. It's a blessing that will come to terms, that it will come to fruition. Are you saying that enough or are you so anxious about how this is going to happen that it's almost robbing the joy in the moment. And I feel like for someone here, you might spend so much time kind of getting distracted by life or f making yourself get pulled in all these different directions in life that you may be neglecting your relationship with the divine. So it's making it so that you don't have that immediate sense of confirmation and validation that people get when they go to their altar, they pray, they set intention or ask for confirmation clarity. It's, I also am hearing that it goes deeper than like repeating numbers. Some of you guys are looking for repeating numbers or you look for repeating numbers. Wow, guys, look at that. You have nine of cups showing up first. It goes deeper than repeating numbers because some of you guys look at that for confirmation and then you're like, yeah, but what does it mean? Um, I'm going to do a whole video on that later on in the future. Make sure that you're following me on TikTok. I don't know why I don't promote that enough, but I'm on TikTok. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, I'm all ticked out. But, um, yeah. I lost my train of thought there. Five of Swords here reversed. King of Swords upright. Page of Swords. So right away, this is again showing so much energy in the head. So much energy in the head. When the truth is that something here is coming into form. Coming into form and this is going to be a, a huge blessing. Seven of Cups. You're not going to be able to see this though. Yeah, oh, tower card. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> you a surprise, surprise, surprise. It's going to come in as a surprise. I almost want to say, I almost want to do an action plan for you. Angels and guides from the highest lights, when it comes to this, what do you want them to do? What action steps can they take? The world card, let it go. 
literally let it go or or find resources books something that you can invest in in order to help you to let go is there's any type of trauma past lingering hurt things that were harmful harmful to you it's so important that you let it go or it will continue to harm you it will continue to haunt you and with the world card spirit is really asking you to actively start to set into place any type of things that are going to help you to let this go to let go and to let god and to finally because it's not just this blessing that's coming into your life but the the blessing of peace too that wants to come into your life this could be a relationship wanting a, 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 a relationship to come ma'am 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 you got the queen of wands the eight of wands i don't know what and then the wheel of fortune ma'am i'm sorry that's bff just coming through ma'am i okay look i can't make this up and then the three of wands upright okay if we were in my living room right now and we had we ordered food because we didn't feel like cooking this afternoon and we were going to watch a movie but for right now we're catching up i i would say to you that i understand i understand period and it's real tough it's real difficult when as a human being we go through things or we want so much for ourselves and it's delayed it doesn't happen doesn't happen the way that we want it to or we think that this is it and then it's not it you know it's really hard for us to have hope for the future and to get excited about the future i just want to tell you that from a bff side bff just side i can see the concern i can see the anxiety i can see the tension it's wild though because spiritual Jess sees how much everything is going to work out and how easy it is. But BFF Jess is when in it with you and it's just like, girl, I don't know. Like, it's crazy sometimes. This is the story of someone who could be in a relationship and or many very terrible relationships or many toxic type of patterns that somehow find their way and then... That person starts to look, well, is it me? What am I doing to attract this? Um, and then finally, the person that changes everything enters in and turns it all around. That's what this is giving. Now, I know that for many of you, this reading has nothing to do with, with relationships. It has to do with individual things that you desire and require for your life. I get it. But that's kind of what is, is that it's giving that in the past, you may not have necessarily received the blessing or received the gift or received confirmation or received this thing manifesting. And there's a lot of anxiety. For some of you guys, there's a lot of change. With the Wheel of Fortune card showing up here and the World card, there has been so much change. There has been so many shifts. There has been so many lessons. There have been so many revelations. To the point where you may have actually closed yourself off from processing and thinking about it because you've been doing this for so long that to process it and to analyze it and to learn from this is too much. And that is actually what the devil card is for you. It's a situation that hasn't changed. It hasn't evolved. Even if it has been for your betterment, it is exhausting learning, growing, transforming, transitioning, shedding, all of that, expanding. It's a lot. It's a lot. So BFF Jess has gone the journey with you and says this, <laughs> like, I'm setting intention for you too and hoping for a breakthrough. And then spiritual Jess has a sense of peace and like if she only knew or if he only knew or if they only knew how wonderful and synchronistic and divine all of this had to be in order for it to plan out or to pan out in the way that it was, we would not even worry about it. We would actually ease up, relax, enjoy the moment Again, easier said than done. BFF, as soon every time when I'm, I, I need you to know that even as I'm saying this, I'm like, BFF Jess is like, ugh, you know, rolling her eyes. But I'm hearing spiritual Jess and I trust her. So, because there are two different sides um, of myself that I'm sharing here on my YouTube channel, of course. Um, and BFF Jess and spiritual Jess are two different Jesses because they, they're too different. Woo! Anyway. If we could only relax and have ease, even as I'm looking at these cards right now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're very, um, what is the word? Discombobulated. Like they're all over the place. 
I just feel like spirit is, there's a divine synchronicity. It's interesting too that the devil card is not showing up necessarily as toxic patterns, but in the amount, the, the level of conviction and dedication to sorting, to sorting through um, life and trying to see this trying to see the lessons and how exhausting and debilitating sometimes that can feel and be. So, um, surprise, surprise. I just keep hearing that. I also feel like, like a knock or something's about to enter or something. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at the cards that I pulled for you. We have 10 of cups reversed. We have seven of wands reversed, seven of pentacles upright and page of cups reversed. So all of the cards that it is that I'm working with, I'm going to link them down below. But I do want to say that for some of you guys, you've actually spent a lot of time making sure that you will not be caught off guard, that you won't, that it's almost like you spend so much time kind of clep Franklin, you almost spend so much time like prepping and planning so that you don't get taken advantage, not taken advantage of, but you don't get caught, get caught off guard. So that's been one of the things that's kind of been shutting the blessing down for you is that you have Ten of Cups reversed, Seven of Wands reversed. I actually think someone's at the door. Ten of Cups reversed, Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands reversed, and Page of Cups reversed. Speaking of like hearing a knock, um, where you're not that your blessings are being blocked, but you're almost kind of almost trying to plan out the details of your life so that you won't get caught off guard, so that you won't be. This is a terrible metaphor, but caught with your pants down is the metaphor that's coming through. And you just don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want to be found unprepared, unplanned. You don't want to be perplexed. You want to have a solution for everything because you've learned that the person that you can count on is you. The problem is, is that you're shutting down your ability to count on the divine and your ability to count on your angels and your guides and your ancestors to show up for you and to show out for you. Okay, so that's something to look out for here as well. The Ten of Cups showing up, even reversed, is a sign that real, genuine, true happiness and sources of happiness can come into your life. Um, but sometimes we might not be open to receiving them, believe it or not, because we are not open to taking risks or we don't trust the situation around us. So we say no to it. Look at that. The next card we have is stay optimistic about your love life and then romantic feelings. Yeah. Some of you guys are actually in relationships right now where you might have a lot of mourning that you need to do from past things that you haven't really come to terms with. Even though this relationship or this person who's coming into your life is absolutely wonderful, you might have a, a you might need to start taking in more factoring the time that is that you need to kind of get off some of the the damage in your heart. Um, so when this new love comes in, you have to be strategic. And making sure that you're not totally pouring in that on that or dumping onto that person that you have certain outlets where you do that for. That's a very specific message. I'm just putting it out there. Okay. So the next few cards we have here is wow, heart sebustin, removal of ups, obstacles and catharsis, and then we have periwinkle, veneration and legacy. So yeah, this is absolutely exactly what I'm saying. That your angels and your guides are working to help remove a lot of the the blockages that may be coming internally. Um, some of you guys were spending a lot of time working on breaking generational curses for your betterment of yourself, your family. You probably have already seen the results of that. Um, however, that can wear even the strongest heart and mind and energy down. Okay, so that's to support that. Your last card, wow. I don't know what this card is, but we about to find out. Surprise, surprise. I don't know what. <laughs> okay, integrity, solidarity, impeccability, reliability, and consistency. Although we are always evolving, we all process deeply held values that we do not have to compromise. Your personal integrity matters. So if you're feeling pressure to say yes when your heart says no or to be something you're not, listen to the message that this crystal brings to you now. Now is a time to remember the importance of being reliable and impeccable with your word. If you really wanted to say no, don't say yes for now and try to correct your mistake later. People may struggle to accept your truth and your decisions, but stick to them. Be solid and, consist and consistent because what matters to you deep down matters to the universe who loves you. If you are feeling unsure, doubting whether you have a right to take a stand, become still and reconnect with the universe through this crystal. 
It's not your job to protect everyone's feelings and keep the peace at all costs. You don't have to rush about smoothing everything over. Be at peace as you stand firm, for your deepest values are in sync with your purpose, and the universe wants you to feel and be strong right now. So for some of you guys, again, well, there is a part that really stood out to me that I kind of want to reread it again. Um, one thing is be solid and consistent because what matters to you deep down matters to the universe who loves you. That's confirmation here that something that you've been waiting for, something that you've talked to the angels and the guides about is about to come to fruition. Surprise, surprise. And then the other part is you don't have to rush about smoothing everything over. And it's not your job to protect everyone's feelings and keep the peace at all costs. Some, for some of you guys, you've been very strategic in what you ask for and how you move and how you live your life because you don't want to ruffle the feathers of other people. And in that process, I feel like there may have been some things that were missed for you that abundance or blessings that needed to come in for you or wanted to come in for you. Um, I just feel like that's going to be a shift. That's going to be a huge shift, a huge change for you. Also, shout out to you for doing so much work on yourself and so much work on generational curses, etc. Because it is not missed. I'm seeing it within the cards. I need to celebrate you. I need to thank you for being just another person. Just another one of us out here doing big things for ourselves, for our past family. right? Those who come bef before us, those are with us now and those to come huge huge and also the the blessing and the health of our entire globe and our entire planet huge so thank you guys so much for being here i hope this resonated with you 2024 is going to be beautiful please make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel i do astrology predictions every week i do pick a card messages intuitive downloads information sharing you name it turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video and also, if you feel called to, feel free to work with me over at BahadiLife.com. Readings, intuitive messages, Bahati Love Notes is a monthly membership where I share exclusive private readings with the community, a small group, Sacred Circle Tarot School, the Apothecary, all of it. All of it is going on at BahadiLife.com. I've been doing this for years, honey, years, and there's no stopping me now. So I'm sending you guys all of my love. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button for this video. It really helps my YouTube channel. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.